Hello and welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. This podcast is powered by Sunday Cool Tees because we work here and we love them and they pay us to live. So if you don't believe me, uh, li- li- uh, listen to this. Hi. Hello, friends. My name is Kenny. I would like to let you know about what makes Sunday Cool special. Not only do we offer 72 hours turnaround, on your orders, but we also print super soft ink on super soft shirts. Um, they are soft, they make you want to kiss a kangaroo. So go to sundaycool.com and start your order today. Goodbye. Once again, my name is Kenny. Open the mouth. <laughs> tips of the tongue. Tongue of the tips. tips. Mm. Welcome to Ninjas Are Butterflies. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that, wasn't, hello. that wasn't as fun. No, that wasn't fun. Hold on. Gonna hold my ninjas, gonna hold, hold them tight. tight. We're gonna tonight. record our podcast tonight. My motto's when always been when it's right, it's right. right. I wait until, until next Friday to a night. Ninjas are butterflies in his washer and them anyway. There's Ninjas Lily and there's Jane and then there's Andrew here and Andy and Joshua are talking now. Now we're gonna start with our podcast now and I'm so Ninjas are butterflies. Whoop! It is episode twenty-one and that's all right. Whoop! Wow. That was like that was great. That was flawless. We should probably like write down <laughs> the words before. That was hard. We had all the words figured out. That was we didn't mumble. That words. was actually perfect. Hi everyone. Welcome. Hello. Good to see you all. Okay, everyone, just be quiet for a second. <sighs> this this I feel like this is actually going to be the easiest question to answer. Okay. Ever. I'm ready. Um, remember how I'm really good at looking up my notes. You are. <laughs> you've all, you've actually you've always proud proud yourself on those. I found it. So listen, listening. Are you ready? Yes. Really interested Jane? to hear what you guys have to say. Please Is Jane listen. ready? Present. <laughs> Present. <laughs> That's what she sounds like. Yeah. Today's question. Do whales deserve to live? Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah. 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 Wait. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think so. Okay. Yeah. All whales? All whales. All whales. Yeah. I mean, if we're, ju- yeah, if we're not getting into specifics, yes, I'll say yeah. Okay. Do, do whales deserve to live? Yes, I think so. Andrew, what do you think? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what the, like, difference between a whale and a whale shark is. And all Don't just say stuff. whales. Just in general, like yeah. at any point in time. All right, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Lily? Yeah. All whales. Unless Even the whale's k- like a terrorist. Oh something. my goodness. Yes. Lily <laughs> wants, wants to, to kill, kill the whales. Oh Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty mind. You learn martial arts! Ha! Ninjas attack! <laughs> oh, so you hate whales. No, I don't hate whales. You hate all sea creatures. That's what you just said. I never you want said the, that. You want them all to die, and you want to bring back whale hunting. No, I never said that. Mm, interesting. What happens if we run out of, like, oil, though, for our lamps? Mm. Who's more important? <laughs> a lamp? A, a light fixture? <laughs> or an entire species? <laughs> Lights. Lights. <laughs> uh, we're going to start calling you Captain Ahab. Oh, my gosh. That's it. That's it, right? Captain yeah. Ahab? Yeah. 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 Is that where they get like the insult Ahab from? I don't know what you what you just said. 
<laughs> what, I don't what really insult? either. I think my dad's the only person that says that. <laughs> he references people as Ahab? He's like, th- that Ahab. <laughs> Maybe I think it's that, a bad word. Yeah, probably. It's probably <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, um, speaking of Jane's voice, you were just making fun of, uh, what actor would you choose if you if she had to have a voice from a celebrity? Oh. What actor would you choose? Oh, oh. well, definitely female because a male. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not very progressive of you, but whatever. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Interesting. Yeah. You always say when I wake up in the morning, I sound like Marcel Lachelle with shoes That's on. That's true. You know Marcel Lachelle? <laughs> yeah, I want to see the movie. I do too. I've heard it's phenomenal. Dogs like this. Yeah. Hey That's so good. I thought. Hey oh. guys, today I'm going to be doing certain things. <laughs> today we're going to be doing a podcast, I guess. That was really good. That was, that was so good. That was a very are good you, impression. Are you what? You know who it is, right? No, it's a uh, oh the uh, podcast from... uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah, it's Mona Podcast. Lisa, right? Podcast. I was yeah. I don't know. I said podcast. Yeah, it's Mona Lisa, right? From yeah, yeah. Uh, Parks and Rec. I almost mm-hmm. said podcast. Yeah, she's, she's super funny. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could do it that well. That I knew really I could like good. kind of do <laughs> it, <laughs> but when I'm hearing it in my ears, I don't know if it came off the, on the camera. But as soon as you started talking, my eyes just like felt like just jolted. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I looked at Lily. <laughs> what is where is they what is um one time I used toenail clippings as skis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, I need to see that movie. That'd be funny. I think the girls would like it too. Yeah. Um question, yeah. what is that? What is what? That's baby Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> for those wondering. Hold on. <laughs> well, who would you pick, Lily, for the voice? I like Marcella Shell, actually. I'm going I, with that. Yeah, okay. I like that too. Okay. I like that too. Baby Jesus. <laughs> it's, it scared me. That's the baby Jesus I pulled out of the dumpster. That's Caucasian Jesus. Baby Jesus. Yeah. Um, Our Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. America's Jesus, right? Yikes. Super white. <laughs> Super white. Likes pizza, even though we didn't invent it. <laughs> and loves guns in the American flag. <laughs> Just kidding. That's, Yikes. that's not our Jesus. Um... What was your, oh, what, yeah, who did you say? Yeah, I like Marcel Shell. I also, um, not that I would pick this, but I suddenly am a huge Jennifer Coolidge fan. Oh, yeah. Who is that? How could you not? I, Legally Blonde, the, uh, I want a hot dog uh, real bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, yeah, Imagine she's, Jane, Mom, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I think I just pooped my pants. <laughs> yeah. I really think I need a PBJ. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. We'll no. stick with Marcel though. Yeah, let's see Marcel yeah. Michelle. Um so how's how's everyone's week? Oh man, my week was great. Yeah. We, we, my my week was great. Well, tell me all about it, man. Tell me about your week. <laughs> well, here I was once I was here and then I was there and I was like, What? <laughs> then, then, then what happened in the middle? And, and then I, I was sat there in the middle and I was like, What's going on? <laughs> well, first I was there and now I'm here. <laughs> At what point was I in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> that was good though yeah it was good oh, it was uh um only two funerals which is um it's a good week if it's only two it's all right yeah sometimes it's more better than three <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say <laughs> two deaths is better than three that's true um we got we had a conference this week yeah we had a conference in orlando called the cpc the mm, children- CPC. Mm, CPP. <laughs> <laughs> it was the CPP. The PP conference. Yeah. Uh, yeah. C- C- I can't say it. CPC. <laughs> yeah, CPC. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Hung out. I'm exhausted. Same. Mm. I woke up with a terrible headache this morning. Oh. And I think it's I think it's someone's fault. Who's I don't know. One? I don't know. It's that poop. Somebody. Someone we met at it's the that conference. Poop water. Oh, you did drink poop water. I, did, I drank poop water. <laughs> what are you it was, about? Wait, did, she, did she say it was real poop in there? I that's what she said. Yeah. What are you talking about? It was manure water. They're they're uh, showing like they have this like water filter that like clears like dirty water, and it said just manure water. And there was actual like manure. There's brown Chumps. stuff. In Why'd it. you drink it? Because, because they the offered Karen, it. It, it was, was free. for the Karen video too. We, it was free. We filmed a Karen video in there, and it was free water. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. When you don't it, care. Her what's pitch in it. is that it's cleaner than American tap water. Doubt it. I'm on a well, baby. Not my American water. No. Don't don't you dare insult my American Jesus and my American water. I tell you what. Here. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'll drink poop water. That's American water. America's water. Yeah. Um you did ask, you know, 
she had that bucket of filthy water and she was saying, this is manure water. And you said, whose poop is that? And yep. she said, she'd have to kill you. <laughs> yep. She told you. Yeah. Before, Which is a great before joke. Before the show, she's just pooping. In the <laughs> 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 um, Susie, no! But it was disgusting because it was literally, it was a straw from the thing through the filter. And like, you're literally, it's, there's no like giant contraption in between. It's just like something like this big. So you're not certain if it's really being filtered. Well, it looked it was, clear. It was completely clear. And it did have yeah. a weird, like, t- it didn't have, like, a dirty taste, but it had just, like, one of those. <laughs> a bit nutty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a bit, bit gross. I mean, um, really, though, we're just seeing the filtration process. Like, tap yeah. water is poop water. We just don't see it happen. Amen. I don't drink tap Unfortunately. water. Unfortunately. Mm. Unfortunately. I, I won't drink it. We drink we drink spring spring fed water. Zephyr Hills. Yeah, oh, why, am, why are we doing country <laughs> accents? So I'm, I'm here for it. I'm just... I feel American today, baby. Oh, Maybe it's just baby Jesus over here. Yeah. Gets me pumped. Um, I want to punch a bald eagle in the face. Speaking of eagles, are you afraid of owls as much as I'm afraid of owls? Oh, yeah. I didn't. I never used to be, but then I saw a movie called The Fourth Kind, which mm-hmm. is a mm-hmm. horror movie, and it focuses on owls. And yeah, then now I'm terrified of owls. I'm terrified of owls. Yeah, they're freaky. Like, they, they literally scare me. Yeah. They it, look like Andy last week. The eyeballs. <laughs> Dude, I walked out there. Imagine I have wings. There's an <laughs> owl that flies around our house here and there. Uh-huh. And it I walked out, this was a couple months ago. I walked out and literally on the branch, like from me to this light, mm-hmm. it was just sitting there just going. <laughs> and I I that's probably one of the most scared I've ever been. They're ter- it's like what? they're they're soulless. What kind of owl was it? Uh does it make a sound at night? You know, you know your it owls. It does, it does. It goes. <laughs> Man, you're killing on the voices today. Yeah, you dude. are. What's going what are you on? No, you're Amer- American water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, um. But also, I saw a video recently. Uh, they had just had like a platform. It was like 15 feet or 20 feet or something like that. And they just had certain birds fly from one side to the other side, and they were recording it. And there's these two people oh, who have the headphones, the sound? and they're all super loud birds, like yeah. flapping their wings. But then a freaking owl gets on there and flies 20 feet. They couldn't hear anything. Yeah, so it was stealth. silent. So just like yes, yeah, so it was just like you just you're literally a sniper. These things are like owls are terrifying. They're so yeah. creepy. Yeah, pass on the owls. You know, you know <laughs> hey, how- hey, listen, pass on the owls. Did you guys have to dissect the owl puke when you're in high school? No, what? only you did that. That's what we you just uncovered. no one. <laughs> We uncovered the sort like the past trauma that's made you afraid of owls. How do you dissect? I was actually thermal. in middle school. They don't poop. What? Did you know that. Owls have to poop. They they regurgitate everything that they eat. Oh, hate and it, that. And it's like it comes in. It looks like so. A, they take the vitamins and then they spew it out. Yes, they. But they that spew out just all true. the bones and hairs. Look it up uh, while I'm talking bone, about bones it. and hairs. Bones and hairs. It <laughs> bones it looks and hairs. like a like a almost like a, <laughs> a dirt felt pill. That's gross. And so we like dissected it, and there's like like mouse bones and Ooh, stuff. You didn't oh dissect. Owl throw up. You dissected owl poop. It just came out through the mouth. All right, here it is. <laughs> Do they have a butthole? I'll Google Do owls next. have a butthole? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, kids. Do owls have buttholes? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> it says owls can't digest all parts of their food. What can be digested moves through the system. The part that remains firm bones are formed into a pellet that the owl regurgitates or spits up. Yo, thanks. Uh, I don't know my teacher's name. From sixth grade. That's so For gross. Teaching me science. Mrs. That's Parker. Biology. No, I was in Tennessee when oh. I oh. dissected. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All you guys are like, they don't do that. Well, they, it, to, to be fair, it doesn't sound like something that's probable. That's why owls are even more terrifying. That is creepy. Right. I don't trust anyone that like poops out their mouth. Like that. <laughs> bones? <laughs> bones? Skeletons? <laughs> you were They're, sliding they have, off. They have hollow bones. Why? They do poop. Okay. But, but they also when? regurgitate pellets. When you least expect it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can't hear them, so that's technically true. Yeah. Um, Jeez, man. They're, they got hollow bones. They poop out their mouths. Mm-hmm. They fly silently. They stare into the abyss. They could turn their head like, like all the way, all the way around. around. It's just like God's like, let's just make the scariest animal. <laughs> Owls are definitely on my top list of the scariest animals. Yeah, for no reason. Probably like, number one. Like, I don't think they've ever hurt anybody. Probably. Unless you've watched the staircase documentary Uh-oh. on Netflix, yes. The Owl Theory. The Owl Theory. 
They're very, oh. very interesting. This girl falls down a flight oh, of stairs. Right. And she had uh, particles, like feathers that are found in only owls on the top of her Well, that head. makes that one movie in sc- even scarier. Because isn't what? the one you're talking about with your, your owls? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe uh, aliens killed her. Have you what seen that? Name? Maybe owls are aliens. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Stop right now. I'm going to throw up Okay, bones. if you just... If you're- <laughs> <laughs> He's puke a pellet up. What's happening? Bones and hairs. Yeah. <laughs> you fly away silently. Yeah. Meanwhile, your head is spinning in like a 360 <laughs> the whole time. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, what's that movie called? The Fourth Kind. The Fourth I have Kind. Seen that. You have seen That's it? when the kid gets taken. Spoiler yeah. So, no, it's not, not really a spoiler, but yet, uh, but yeah, it's they acted as if they had found footage and then they reenacted it out. And oh, so okay. they had the found footage on one screen and the other. Okay. And so they had um, actors portray it, but it's they said, "Hey, this is real." Yeah. And so as a kid, you're <gasps> like, like celebrities activity. can't lie. Yeah. This is oh, real. So it wasn't so, real, like or like no, based on real no, stories. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, there's, there's I'm not myths afraid of in Alaska. Then. There's myths and stuff, but yeah, but just the visuals in that movie alone. I'm sure we'll show a clip in the whatever real we cut. In <laughs> yeah. <to this>. Yeah, <laughs> we won't show it in like, this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> speaking of. Things to be afraid of. Oh, it's time for conspiracy time. It's not really even a conspiracy. What? This is a conspira fact. <laughs> okay. Um, the JFK files. Okay. What, what do you do? You know a lot about them? I when I in twenty seventeen. I got really, really into the JFK stuff because I never really knew about it because we visited Dallas and I got saw the X on the street. I was kind of fascinated with it and dove into it, saw the JFK movie, saw some documentaries. Yeah. Love that. Love that conspiracy because okay. it is 100% a conspiracy it's an, and it's a fact. You're right. No, but, but listen, well, yeah. listen to this latest news about the JFK assassination. Okay. The JFK files. M. You have to say that in the JFK voice. JFK. I don't know how it's like a JFK. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Right. Boston. <laughs> Wait, does he do this? No, that who does that? That was a uh, Clinton. Clinton. Oh. oh yeah, I think they all kind of do it this. every now. <laughs> I've I've actually started doing that recently because I feel like it makes you look more powerful. Yeah, I have to poop. <laughs> <laughs> I hate owls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, JFK files. Listen to this. Um, don't don't quote me super hard on all of this, right? <laughs> This is just, I saw this on the news. I won't say which news station because then people will profile me. Um, <laughs> okay. 1976, House of Repre- Representatives made a panel to reinvestigate the JFK assassination, but the CIA put the kibosh on it. Said, nope. Kibosh. You're not doing that. You're not doing it. We're putting the kibosh on them. We, the CIA, saying you're not, you're not touching those files. <laughs> all right? I said, I know you want to, but I'm not going to let you. I'm putting the kibosh on it. <laughs> Zip it. You do the eyes. Look at you. Oh my gosh, Sir you're Robert so Wick. good. <laughs> wow, that, good. that was really good. Um, then in 1992, Congress passed the President John F. Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act. Mm-hmm. That was a long name for this act. Um, <laughs> that act mandated full disclosure of all documents by 2017, meaning there's there's thousands and thousands of pages yep. of documents regarding the JFK assassination. And so in 1992, they passed this. So the CIA would legally have to hand forward all documents by 2017. Mm-hmm. And just through different political parties, whoever's in the White House, it would, like started the process, but then people would end it because they would get pressure from the CIA or whatever. Yeah. Um, so that, that, so 54 years after JFK was killed, this thing was passed. Um, but again, the CIA withheld thousands of pages of the CIA documents uh, on purpose because one of their things that they said was, we want to make sure everyone that was involved in everything has passed away. Yeah. So no one can be held, whatever, responsible uh-huh. for whatever. Makes sense. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead now. Yeah. They have all passed into the next life. <laughs> um, but they, this news people... They talked to someone that has um, direct connection to all the documents. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me back up too. As of December 2022, they released 13,000 pages more of these documents. 
but they're still withholding 5% of all the documents. So there's 5% of these documents that are not released. But this person that they talk to, who has connections to, or has, he, they know the documents. They said, or the news people asked, did the CIA have a hand in the murder of JFK? That person's response who knows these documents said, the answer is yes, I believe they were involved. It's a whole different country from what we thought it was. It's all fake. Oh, man, that's encouraging. So isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, man. Ah! Have you seen the JFK movie with Kevin uh, Costner? I have not. Dude, you've got to, especially after hearing this. Yeah. You know, I think you would absolutely love it because it's it just doesn't make sense. It's, really? they They took off so much police detail, like days before. They rerouted the parade days before. <clears throat> Which is yeah. would never be allowed nowadays. Mm -hmm. Never. They wouldn't. They took the body away from the hospital um, uh, immediately after. No one was allowed to examine it. It's there's there's just so many things. I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't think I talked about this on the podcast, but <clears throat> in that book I was we were talking about uh, a couple episodes ago, the Napoleon's hemorrhoids. Mm -hmm. One of the situations was. <laughs> she's Sorry. so loud. Sorry. That's so cute. No, she's got she's got a lot of opinions on the JFK. She does. Thing. She's yeah. like, they did it. <laughs> Um, that was a shoot. That was a second shoot behind the grassy knoll. <laughs> um, JFK, after he was assassinated, it came out that he was having. <laughs> go, Jane, go. She has to poop. Oh, go for it. Look at her face. Oh, yeah, that's super red. Poop it I out. I feel you, girl. <clears throat> but all these. Um, it came out that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking good, about good. poop. <laughs> um, that he had. Uh, what do you call it? Where you cheat on your wife. <laughs> affair affair okay. and multiple affairs yeah and during one of his affairs he like pulled his groin mm -hmm. like really bad like super bad to yeah. where he had to wear a brace oh i heard that yeah that like went up his back uh -huh. and during when he was assassinated the first shot missed right mm -hmm. or no the first shot hit him in the neck but it wasn't gonna it wouldn't have killed him but he wasn't able to bend down oh yeah that's, because yeah. of the brace I've and heard then that. he got Hit hard. But there's a there's the fa the famous scene in the movie is like the final courtroom scene, which I think is like <clears throat> Kevin Costner. I think he memorized, if I'm remembering correctly, he memorized like a 17 minute monologue, and it's like this Whoa, one big consistent thing. And he uh, there's he show they show the footage like over and over again, so it's pretty graphic. But he just keeps saying back into the left because JFK as soon as he like got shot, it went back to the left. And so it's like if he's getting shot from behind, you're not going backwards yeah like you're getting pushed forward oh weird and so it's like th like that alone weird shows yeah that the shot that killed him right there was not the shot from that that came from behind it was yeah. like it had to have been from the front and so it's just it blows my mind and it's so scary because you keep looking into it you get really discouraged on Aww. everything that's going on like in the world and like all the things that they're hiding you don't know all those yeah. secrets bro i know so um, I'm, I'm interested to see if the more documents come out and yeah, I would be, I'd be, really be cool. very interested, and I'm afraid of what is to come from it if things are bad. Well, I think it's going to be just like the alien thing, like in 2020, how they're just like, oh, oh by yeah. the way, like, oh my gosh, the world is on fire. By the way, aliens are real. Aliens are real. <laughs> but and it's no, like, everyone's like, <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's like, so when, whenever, another thing. we'll probably it'd be 2024. Whenever the election's happening, there's going to be a bunch of drama, and they're like, oh, by the way, um, JFK did get assassinated by its own government and also MLK. Um, but also look at this crazy debate highlight that happened last week. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. And so it's, yeah, it's strange, man. It's so, so wacky. So what's the moral of the story? Don't uh, get shot. <laughs> Don't cheat. Mm. Adultery will kill you. <laughs> if you. Adultery is deadly. Adultery. <laughs> it's deadly. <laughs> yeah. Don't cheat. Cheaters, cheaters get shot. I'm just glad you didn't even know the word uh -oh. for what it was called when you have a relationship um, outside of your marriage. Good yeah. job, me. <laughs> He's like, oh, what's that? Uh, what's that thing? You're on. I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't, couldn't even think of the word murder. How could I have murdered somebody? <laughs> what's that word when you take someone's life? Uh, murder. That's it. See, if I could, if I, if I would have done it, I would have known the word. <laughs> um. Yeah. You're innocent. So, um, that, that's that was I found it crazy that is very weird yeah it's scary stuff there's a lot there's so much details to it and also that incredible tv show have you seen 11 22 63 no on hulu it's james oh, yeah. franco 
Yeah. He goes back. Watch that. It's okay. based on Stephen King's book. It's such a great series. It's a limited series. He goes, um, he finds a portal to go back to um, like 62 or 61. And he has to go back in time and stop the JFK assassination. Wow. But every time he comes back, uh, every time he goes back into time, so like he can pop in and out. Every time he goes back, everything resets. Yeah, and so he can keep trying. So, so he has, sometimes he basically, it's oh. like one one attempt, and until he has to go back. So like he would go and like collect information and come back. Okay, and then he like figure like it resets. So like he just had to like figure it all out. Like Dude. I explained it well, didn't I? Yeah, Dude, <laughs> I, but it's yeah. A, it's an incredible um, yeah. limited series. Okay, well watch it. It's really yeah, you cool. said it's it's a limited series. Yeah, I mean, like, it's well, just a book. Yeah, like, what's an example? Like, what would be an unlimited series? An unlimited series would be the one Walking that consistently Dead. has yeah. <laughs> season after season after season. The limited series is saying this is one season, one season only. It's limited to one season. I mean, everything technically has a limit. Not technically, because a lot of it's open-ended. You see Grey's Anatomy, they're, like, on their, like, yeah. 25th season or something In like Walking that. Dead. The Walking Dead has that to stop. That seems unlimited. It has yeah. to stop. <laughs> Um, but speaking of things that are unlimited, let's cut to an ad and don't go anywhere. <laughs> what is, what are, you, what are you doing? You have, <laughs> you have 20 seconds. Okay. To tell me everything you know about ClearStream. Oh, uh, uh, cl ClearStream, the, the, the software program? Yeah, these are just my uh, fingers. Uh, oh, by the okay, way. Okay, I'm pointing okay. at you to tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's ClearStream. ClearStream, <laughs> ClearStream is uh, the greatest software program to communicate with your church, with your group, with your organization. It's the best in the world because you can schedule those things out. You can have one on one communication. It, it re removes all that mass text nonsense that you hate. And if you sign up and you go to uh, ClearStream.io slash four slash ninjas, you get 10% off for life. Is that good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need that bow bun. I need that bow bun. No, I, can I do need it. that I bow bun. It. <laughs> it's something like I've never tasted before. That is such a unique taste, the inside of that. It is unreal. Is it pork? Well, usually a beef, right? No, it's always pork. Pork, pork. or chicken. Yep. Oh. Um, and well, why, and so. why they do like curry. That you <gasps> get at the gas station, you do curry inside of those. I love mm. curry. Chasu. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wasn't that ad fun? Yeah. Do you guys remember it? Yeah. So good. Speaking of things that we don't remember, remember when we were watching that show the other day, um, and it was about the pyramids, mm -hmm. and it kept saying stuff. Like, <laughs> it was yeah. like it was like. Okay. <laughs> so I was watching. I I turned on this uh, documentary on YouTube about like the pyramids and all these unsolved mysteries or whatever. Yeah. And was I like playing with Ada or something? While something you're kept happening. And so, so I turned it on because yeah. I wanted to watch it. And Lily's like, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> that like, is how I'm Lily like, talks. Yeah. Um, and then, hey, <laughs> what's on TV? <laughs> it's a it's a pyramid show. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. But she was watching it, and I like would get up to like help Ada with something, and Lily would go like, oh, What? <laughs> I'm like, What? And she's like. And she's like trying to explain it. So I'm like going back. And but every time I would say, did you hear that? And you're, like, you're like, are you serious? Like, no. I said, no, I didn't I hear it. in the other room. Pause it. <laughs> but she just kept going, oh, no way. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's some interesting stuff but, in there. But it talks about, it was like, yeah, I mean, our our team like believes that the pyramid or the, the Sphinx predates yeah, which Egyptian I, times. And you're like, and I'm like, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. And you're like. I've talked to you about that 10 times. <laughs> on the podcast. Yeah. Remember I remember I talked about it on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so. Um, Uh-oh. What, what? The pyramids are scary. Yeah. <laughs> the pyramids are like, because I don't know the anything pyramids about. scare me. <laughs> Guys. It's going to be honest real quick. The pyramids <laughs> frighten me. <laughs> they freak me out. They really freak me out. <laughs> Not a fan. I don't even like triangles. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have another little fun thing. Ooh. Unless you got something. Ooh. Um, the Bermuda Triangle Rogue Waves. What? <sighs> that sounds like a a uh, <laughs> festival, music festival. <laughs> Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle Rogue Waves. Wait, but that was Bermuda Triangle Rogue Waves. Yeah, it's crazy. What's going on with that? So, you know, there's the whole mysterious scariness with the Bermuda Triangle of all these ships and yeah, stuff disappearing. Like Amelia planes. Earhart. 
potentially. There, no, that happened. No, that's, that's where she's at. Okay. She's being held hostage there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot of theories of like uh, like methane gas being released and like it creates the density on the water goes down uh-huh. and like uh, ships sink and stuff. And that you can't send any signal out from there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, another theory is that there's a portal. Ooh, and that you fun. you either go into the future or back in time, whatever. That's a fun one. Yep, I don't believe it, but there's a theory that has been proven. It's not to prove all ship disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, <laughs> so I just say that <laughs> are because of this. But they've discovered it's called a rogue wave, and it's basically basically a tsunami. But there's nothing that creates it. It just pops up. And so, in the just Bermuda, within that space, yeah. And it was a theory, but they weren't able able to prove it. But then, an oil rig out in the uh, Bermuda Triangle got a video or a picture of it, and it's basically a wave that shoots up to ninety feet tall. Oh no! But it's just one wave. It's just one wave. Oh no! And this way, like ships have a, it's like something like uh, a psi of like. The amount of pressure that they can take from yeah. a wave or whatever. Yeah. Just and like, stand it. Uh, I'm totally going to get this wrong, but it's like the standard giant ships PSI, say it's like uh, 150 PSI of mm-hmm. like what it can take before it starts taking damage. Yeah. These waves produce over 200 PSI. Oh, no. So they're saying that if it hits these ships, they literally just break apart. Just crumble. <gasps> yeah. God. And it's out of nowhere. And like, you can't really see it coming. And it just hits. And there's no prediction of like, there's, mm-hmm. it's just, it literally is just completely random. It's just wave bomb. So is that the explanation for all those ships going missing? That, they in, said that, that, in that area? That could be, yeah. Because I mean, just imagine being hit at it with something like that. Like it, everything is calm, everything is great. And then suddenly there's literally just one huge, yeah. obnoxiously rogue wave. That's crazy. It's mermaids. Yeah. Mm. It's what's, mermaids. What's the ocean yeah. floor look like underneath wherever the Bermuda is? Sandy. <laughs> Rocks. <laughs> what's fish eating? Kelp. <laughs> I don't know. It's like if there's like a valley that shoots water up, like all those big wave oh, spots, yeah. that's that's how that works. It's deep water, then it hits oh, a Oh, trust shelf. me. I know about big okay. wave surfing. Uh, I grew up in Hawaii. Yeah. With Did you? Kelly. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot Kelly, about that. Kelly grew up in Coco. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. That, that's super terrifying. Are you guys afraid of the ocean? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Terrified. But not as afraid as space. I would rather explore the ocean than space. Okay, would you that's rather a, be in a uh, submarine? <laughs> Listen. Or... A spaceship. Spaceship. You're not allowed. <laughs> a submarine or a spaceship. Ooh. For how long? A year. Let's figure it out. A year. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Two weeks. But if you had to choose but no, if you had to year. choose a year. A year and if you had to choose, which one? I'd be younger if I went to space. Oh, and you weigh <laughs> less or more. <laughs> less. Okay. <laughs> your, but your bone density. Gets Andy all. would weigh more. <laughs> The average person would weigh less. <laughs> you really got free food in space? <laughs> I ate a star. <laughs> Andy, the moon no. is actually made out of cheese. <laughs> it's um, contrary to popular belief, it is not a moon pie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would do, I think I would do submarine only if like I wouldn't be going down like to the complete like darkness where you couldn't see anything. I would still want to, well, I want to see like the sea life and stuff. They don't still. have windows. Submarines don't they, don't they don't have windows? No, no, no. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's why I would do space. Space because you could float and have fun at least. <laughs> space. You what float. do you mean submarines don't have windows? They don't have windows. What about like uh, the Beatles? <laughs> 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 the yellow submarine. You mean the artwork yeah. that <laughs> the they made? Cartoon drawing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, you, mean, you tell me that was a base of a real submarine. <laughs> you tell me those Beatles didn't actually get in a submarine and take a picture. <laughs> What do you mean that there's no <laughs> windows on the... Oh, hey, so, Paul. <laughs> yeah? Hey, I, I was wondering. I thought it'd be real cool if for our next uh, Alabama artwork we go into a submarine. <laughs> sounds good. sounds great. <laughs> but I was curious. Don't How are we going to get our pic- pictures? Because they don't have windows. <laughs> they have windows. Aww. Submarines don't have windows, John. <laughs> what is your... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You had to get it first. No, I just come... That's why I start acting off really good and then it just goes... Crazy out the window. Yeah, it almost got like Russian or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, this is very good. Yeah, submarine. We are the Beatles. <laughs> we play the rock and rolls. Yes, rocking um, in the USSR. Yes. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, I just found something out that I am related to Edward Norton. 
<laughs> no, you did not. Like, yeah. You were not related to Edward Norton. Yeah. How? 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 Um, just so you know, your focus is probably off when you lean forward like that. Yeah, you have to look like that all the time. <laughs> Let's stay right here. Um, <laughs> Because I watch this, you know that guy that goes around and does the um, like ancestry of all these celebrities or whatever. Yeah, sits them down, kind of goes through like their like long, long list of. Yeah. Well, I've seen the one with Jeff Daniels is pretty crazy. I saw with Edward Norton. Okay. He's related to Pocahontas. Oh. oh. Yeah. All right. And when I was a child growing <laughs> up, my gammy always told me I was related to Pocahontas. So hence. I'm related to Edward Norton. Oh, wait, are you more excited to be related to Edward Norton than Cook <laughs> Honest? Yeah. How? The Hulk? The Hulk. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm related to the Hulk? Um, but then I found out later that I'm actually not related to Pocahontas, so I guess I'm not related to Edward Norton. Oh, so boo. Really, I like the other. I like the beginning. Yeah, her of reasoning, better. it was so funny. She used to tell us that we're related to so many people. Why? Like, I don't to know. make you feel good? Well, I, I, there's a lot of people I need to go apologize to because I've <laughs> grown up. I lied to a lot of people, not knowing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. But, well, you know what? I, let's let's take a minute out of this time. Address the camera. Address the people that you've lied to in your past, please. Um, primarily in elementary. Everyone in elementary that I lied to about um, being related to Pocahontas, um, being related to William Hooper, who signed the Declaration of uh, Independence. Yep. Not related to him. I guess there's a couple of Hoopers back in the day, and I wasn't a part of his Is there lineage. Any, who else did you know that you think? Well, you John were? Smith. John, yeah. So you're yeah, related obviously. to both Pocahontas and John Smith? Well, Gammy said, <laughs> she's like, you're related to John Smith from Wait, the movie, which we've really, all yeah. seen. Yeah. John Smith marries Pocahontas. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. I see. He doesn't not marry Pocahontas. Life. Not in real life. Not in real life. Um. And John Smith, so, not a great guy. Yeah. In real life, not a great guy. Not the best. I mean, Mel Gibson was great in the movie, but... Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a couple others. I can't really think of any. Uh, I was told once I was related to King James. Oh. I could see it. Um, because Stuart. my my grandma's maiden name is Stuart. <laughs> and so, Stuart, Queen of Scots. Are you, Wait a second. Are you telling me you're related to Stuart Little? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness! Are you for real? I was. I was waiting. I was waiting to tell you guys. That's but the big. Oh, that is so. I am related cool. to Stuart Little. <laughs> Came back on S History DNA. Yeah, the, the little mouse. white mouse. You know, I I see the resemblance now. <laughs> That's the sound mouse. Sounds. At least you're not a rat. Hey. <laughs> um. But yeah, because we the Stuart lineage they do go back to Scotland. Um. So it was like Mary Queen of Scots. Uh, Stuart, whatever. Yeah, but uh, you're but you're Irish, right? That's Irish. A, yeah, you're, so your family's Scottish. Irish and Scottish. What we're about li- you? We're a little worried that we're related. Ooh, <laughs> that would be what? so funny. Of all your jokes, yeah. <laughs> of all your jokes of Edward Orr and Pocahontas and Ever- like <laughs> William Hooper, it is like let's dive into our actual, and then it turns out it's like <laughs> actually you guys are related. I'm related no. to my wife. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, because because we both we, have the dimple. We come from the same. Our ancestry comes from the same like county in oh, Ireland. Not God. county, just region. Cork. Neighborhood. I'm not, I'm not from Cork. It, Cork is where we had determined. I'm not from Cork. Anywho. <laughs> from Belfast. <laughs> We're not the same county, the same neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and we, my mother's, my maternal grandmother's maiden name is Robinson. Mm-hmm. And your family Dude, if Robinson's. that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what you call kissing cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, cousin. <laughs> Keeping the bloodline pure. <laughs> they do pure say Irish. You're attracted to yourself. Nice laws nice. of attraction. Um, we're not related. We're gonna, we don't, you don't know that. I know it. I you know don't it. know that. I know it. We got to look into it. Why do you say uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> if if you're uh, if you're watching this and you want them to dive deeper, let into me their- let me say this. <laughs> I think, like the Hoopers. Right, yeah. I wasn't related to the William. I'm pointing at the camera. <laughs> William, are you in there? <laughs> William, William, Ho- <laughs> William Hooper. I was not related to, and there was only like like not a lot of people living in America. Yeah, and so you know, names are names, man. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the Robinsons. I'm pretty sure very distinctly have crooked pinkies. <laughs> You know something though? Hold on, wait. But you know something my cousin Mary does. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. That would be the greatest plot twist in all of history. Oh no. Jane, are you okay? <laughs> I feel a bit uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Is that why Jane has six fingers on one hand? It's <laughs> probably um, catching up to you guys. Uh-oh. I, yeah. w- I want to figure out, I don't know anything about my, like, where I'm from at all. Definitely Mongolian. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah somewhere somewhere yeah. Asia. I, I could see I could see Norwegian. Yeah. I could yeah. maybe see Russian, maybe. Russian. Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, that big, would that? Do it? Not, that not in this political climate, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be cool. Um, that'd be interesting. I want to. Is that what's you the difference have all of the skin too? Yeah, yeah, you do. I do have all the skin. I've always said that. <laughs> all the skin. Yeah. You do. You got a lot. Of, <laughs> a lot uh, of skin. What's the difference between Twenty Three and Me and Ancestry dot com? Uh, the same they, thing. They both steal your DNA and sell it to the government. They a hundred percent do. And yeah. they're run by Mormons, right? Both of them. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know the difference. Yeah, I think, I think Ancestry dot com. They take your DNA, but they can also go back into the archives and like find old birth certificates and stuff. Yeah, and twenty three more like is basically like what kind of like heritage, heritage, ethnicity. More, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I've heard that ancestry is cooler. It's like more yeah. in depth. My mom used ancestry. My mom's adopted. And she actually found like a brother she didn't know she had. No like, way. Family reconnected. So like a brother from another mother. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> or maybe Wait, the same mother. Same mother. <laughs> 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 oh. Um. Yeah. So what were we talking about? We're talking about ancestry. Oh, kissing cousins. cousins. Yeah, kissing cousins. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll back. Speaking of kissing cousins. No, but my <laughs> this is fun fact. My uh, grandma and grandpa McNeil were first cousins. McNeely. McNeil. McNeely. Neil. <laughs> all, all the kids. The they kids were actual okay. cousins. Yeah, first, first cousins. First cousins. So who was that? Your your my great and my great grandpa and great grandma. Wow. I wear her engagement ring. She does. Oh, yeah. all added There's, up. All, there's so many red flags. <laughs> no! <laughs> that is so funny. That was it's all right. So if we're cousins, whatever. Were they in Ireland? It's too late. <laughs> you know, what are we going to do we about gotta it? We got to commit. We got to ride this out, I guess. Oh, uh, this is what kills the Till podcast. Till death was part. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go on Jerry Springer. It's this like great. we would still be like distantly related. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> How okay, we well are. That, that brings up a, why, why are you trying to make us closer <laughs> like cousins if we are? I don't want I don't want it. Lily's got money saying, on this or something. Let's yeah. live in like the reality that we might be related. Uh-oh. We're all kind of related. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys? Father Abraham. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Have any sons. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. I was uh born as an owl. <laughs> um yeah did you know my feet are growing <laughs> <laughs> well i'd hope so because you have the size uh the the shoe size of a seven seventh grader so shut you up no i don't <laughs> you wear size you. eight no i don't <laughs> <laughs> you do Stop. okay nine got nine it and nine and a half nine. you jerk <laughs> Eight. I did give you a size ten pair of Adidas, which run really small, and you told me they were way too big, even when you had double. No, size. you didn't. <laughs> You're lying. What is with you guys? My feet are still glowing. Okay. <laughs> Shut up and listen, please. Okay, yeah, your feet are growing. Well, because I put on my Vans the other day, yeah, and they didn't fit. My toes were like. When's the last this. time you wore them? Like a year ago. It dries out and. No. Listen. <laughs> Everyone. It's been raining a These lot. These are my feet. Let me talk about my own feet. <laughs> it's been raining a lot. Maybe your shoes shrunk. But then I tried on other shoes yeah. and other shoes and other shoes, and they're all the same. That's weird. Very tight. It's because you I never look- wear shoes. If you don't let me explain why my feet are growing. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> you that is vegetables. part of it. No, that's part of it. Listen. Yeah. Because I always wear these. <laughs> Slides. Crocs. Slides. Crocs. Sponsor us. You've, you've converted me, but. These aren't Crocs, but I do love the slides. Mm-hmm. They're really great. Um, but I looked it up. I'm like, can your feet grow in your 30s? Yeah. And they're like, technically, yes, because your arch starts to flatten, which makes your foot. Oh, watch this. okay. Because, Longer. Because more weight's coming down on top of it? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> that is what happens. <laughs> No, it's from the lack of arch oh, yeah, support. Sorry, yeah, wait, this, this did this did start by all my shoes fit really tight. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Talk about something else. <laughs> all, all, all the way just goes to her feet. No, that's good because no, I love that we're both having feet um, problems right now. 
Like, oh <laughs> yeah, tell them about your foot problem. This is so funny. I was okay. How often do you actually see yourself just walking? Like in like you actually like see yourself and how you walk. You don't really do that. Well, right we now. have I I every morning I have a mirror at the end of the hallway and I do a like <laughs> okay. I, I model like okay. my own clothes. So I don't ever like mm -hmm. if I was there was a mirror at the end of my hallway that I probably would too. But I was walking <laughs> at, at my daughter's science fair the other day and the the windows were reflective and I'm walking. And you just see yourself in your mirror. You ever just get like super discouraged when you see yourself in the mirror? Oh, I no. do. Yeah. And so I saw that and I saw that and I was like, and I was like, oh, I just feel like I walk funny. And then I started like paying attention to my feet and I have feet that go out. <laughs> oh, that no. point out when like I stay, like when I'm clown. standing, when What's I'm that? standing What's there. What's that called? That's called duck something. Feet. Duck oh, okay. Like duck footing. And so, <laughs> and so I, I stand with my feet out and when I'm walking, it goes out, they go out. And so I looked it up and it's like, oh yeah, like, it's like, you know, for kids or something, like they grow out of or it. Pregnant but it for adults, apparently it's due to either a sedentary lifestyle, which oh, I'm not no. very act. I'm not like, not incredibly active, but I know I'm not a like what lifestyle? sedentary. sedentary. Like, like, that's like, not a word. <laughs> Cemetery. Oh, a cemetery, yeah, yeah. Lifestyle. cemetery lifestyle. That, <laughs> that which that you basically sense. lay around like you're dead. Which yeah. um, or it's um, from bad, bad posture. Which I think I have bad posture. Bad posture. Oh. <laughs> you just hang upside down to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Andy, that's gonna affect you. <laughs> of course, your feet are messed up. You're sleeping like a bat your whole life. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you ever see Andy? <laughs> Did you see that he's kind of got like bat posture? Upside down. <laughs> no, I don't see it. Really? I mean, maybe it's just me. <laughs> so bad posture. Bad posture and injury. And when I was in college, I was uh, hit by a car when I was on my bike. Oh my gosh. And I was like, somebody ran a stop sign. It was a nurse or somebody in scrubs. No joke. I got hit by a Volkswagen bug. <laughs> And it was a pink, I mean, no, yellow one with pink flowers on the back. She got out of the car and she's like, oh my goodness, are you all right? And I was like such in shock. I was like, I think so, yeah. And then she got in the car and she left. Oh my gosh. She and, didn't do and that. For a few months after that, I couldn't even like bend over and tie my shoes or anything. Oh and this is like my freshman year in college and my back was so bad. And now it doesn't really hurt that much. But now I'm thinking maybe that's why I'm duck footed now. Mm. I've never heard this story. You literally got hit by a car while you were on a bike. Yeah, it ruined my bike and everything. And um, I was on my way to volunteer at a homeless shelter that I was doing. And oh so gosh. I was like, this is, that's proof right there. I'm never going to volunteer my time again. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the violin. violin. Yeah, exactly. It's so sad. But yeah, so whoever. You should the, tell a story, that story, but yeah. say that you woke up in the hospital <laughs> and the first thing you said when you came out of a coma was, quack. <laughs> <laughs> I looked down. I, I just have web feet. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, I, I, that night I told Kelsey about it, and I was just like, "Do you notice this?" And like, and she's like, "No, I've never noticed." It. And then, <laughs> and I'm walking, I'm walking out of the school later that day, and the girls are with me, and she, Kelsey's behind me, and I could just feel her <laughs> staring at me. Well, and I turned around, and she's like, "I could see it now." I said, "Stop!" <laughs> Oh my god! When you mentioned it yesterday, when yeah. we were walking into the conference, <laughs> I've never noticed it. But once I did, I thought it was so you funny because you're just wearing your Chuck Taylors. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh no. man, it's a nightmare. <clears throat> well, that was fun, everyone. Yeah. No, well, it wasn't Does all it? it's quacked up to be. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Um, it was good. Any last remarks? About <laughs> remarks. If uh, Ancestry.com would like to sponsor this podcast. Yeah, uh, let's find out if Mary and Lily are coming. We don't want to get mixed just, up with them. We just need four four uh, things so we can do it all on the podcast. That would be really fun. Yeah. We should do that. We should do that. What, Ancestry? Yeah. We got We have to figure this out. This is the Ding Dong Bandit all over again. We yeah. got to figure out, make sure you are for sure not related. I get. <laughs> Speaking I, of Ding Dong Bandit, I don't Bandit. know if I want to know though. <laughs> okay. No, you have to now. Yeah. We kind of they <laughs> they want to know. <laughs> you owe it to them. Yeah. Um, um, but they're gonna pin a murder on us if we do it. Yeah, that's possible. I do have a fear of that. Oh yeah, they of like just, them matching my DNA because now they have it. Have I talked about that on the podcast? Where it's like that's why I don't stop and like open things on the side of the road or pick up things. Like there's yeah. big trash bags or something. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I always am curious. I'm like, you told me that. Yeah. And I, I thought now I think the same thing. Yeah. I see a trash bag on the side of the road. I'm thinking, I want to know what's in that. But if I stop and there is a dead body, which I know there probably is, 
then the police are going to show up. They're going to find out, listen, we got no suspects. Let's just pin it on this guy because he's got no alibi. We can't we don't believe him. And let's, then I go to prison let's, for let's nothing. Let's pin us on this uh, Norwegian, Russian, <laughs> duck foot looking guy. Yeah. He's got all the skin. <laughs> he's got all the skin, <laughs> says Ancestry.com. Take him away. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> He's got all the skin. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, what else? Oh, the Ding Dong Bandit. No updates. Still looking. We set out a trap, and they did not take it. We need to. Was keep it more question. cupcakes? Yeah, we set out more cupcakes. I think it's funny that you call them cupcakes because I've never even Ding thought dong. of them as cupcakes in my life. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's um, that, that. There's no <clears throat> update to that at all whatsoever. But. Maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe one day. Um, but before you go, before you go, listen, uh, please rate and review us on Apple. Spotify. Uh, write, it, write a review, and we'll read off our favorite reviews. All right? We'll do that. Aww. So now you have incentive to do it. Aww. Please give us um, five stars. If you don't give us five stars, um, if you want to give us another amount of stars, then you can do that somewhere else <laughs> on your own time. Just go home and draw those stars. Yeah, yeah. You don't have um, to actually rate them. Subscribe to our YouTube, Sunday Cool, Sunday Cool Tees. Um, we're almost at 100,000. Guys, we're over yeah. 90K right now. If we get to 100,000... We should have a party. Yeah, we'll have Love a party. Them. We'll it's have a hundred, hundred, hundred thousand subscriber party. So thanks for listening, guys. We merch love- is coming soon. Merch is coming soon. Oh, they said March. I'm like, March it is, is, is kind of coming soon. Merch and March are both coming soon. Wow. <laughs> Whatever you're most excited for. Yeah. They're right around the corner. Okay. <laughs> well, I love you. Love you. And you, and you, and you, and you. Love you, Jane. Aww. Thanks for being so great, Jane. Of course. And look at she's kind of sweet. Oh, she's so sweet. It still looks I, like she's trying to poop. My mom, she <laughs> makes these eyes, and my mom goes, I think she has anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, she doesn't even know she has eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Ninjas. Oh, oh, All right. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most beautiful creations. Has it empty your mind? You were martial arts! Fuck it, you're not there!